Kai is many things, but stupid is not one of them. He knows that getting into the hero course of UA is hard. And no matter how well Aizuku does, he knows there would be bias. He needs a foolproof way to prove that he's undeniably strong enough to be in the hero course. And he knows just how to do it. The UA Sports Festival is televised nationwide, and will be his chance to show the world just what a quirkless person can do. Until then, Aizuku would apply for general studies. He has a little over 10 months to become as strong as possible, and to be able to compete with kids whose quirks defy nature. A knock on his door brings him back to reality. Come in, Aizuku smiles, knowing his mom is probably coming to tell him she's home and ask about his day. Aizuku, I have something to tell you. Ayuko cracks the door open, and the note of hesitation in her voice makes him freeze. Did she find out about my channel? W what is it? A loud squeal comes from behind Ayuko, making him jump. Is that Aizuku's room? A familiar voice yells, sounding excited. Wide-eyed, Aizuku watches him make Otoga barge into his room. What the? Aizuku, she launches herself at him, sending them both toppling back onto the bed. Mom? Aiko stepped into the room, smiling sheepishly. Well, I won her case. She's on probation and her parents are dealing with the authorities. But I didn't want to put her into the system, so, she'll be staying with us. The guest bedroom is cleared out for her. You don't mind, right? It's then Aizuku spots the tracker on her ankle. Smiling, he hugs Toga back, giving his mom a subtle nod. Welcome to the family, Himiko. The next ten months were hellish. Between Stain and Abby, Aizuku was exhausted. He brought Himiko with him to meet his fan club, and they accepted her as his sister once they saw how well he treated her. Wielding twin katanas and knives became second nature, and he could easily use whatever was around himself with deadly force. He could run for miles without getting tired, and scale walls easily. Himiko helped by clinging to his back like a monkey and insisting on him carrying her everywhere. He decided that it wouldn't hurt to be able to carry another person around with ease. Aizuku is going to be a hero, after all. Congratulations. You have been accepted to the UA General Studies. Best of luck. Your uniform will arrive in a separate package. Plus Ultra. Aizuku smiles, a glint in his eye as he watches the video play again. You did it, Zuzu. Himiko squeals, barreling through the door and jumping onto him. He's used to it by now, and catches her with ease. Aiko follows, her heart swelling with pride when she sees his smile. How do you want to celebrate? I can make katsudan, and there's still some ice cream in the fridge. Aizuku nods, his smile softening at the Terry woman. She returns it, attempting to wipe her tears away. Aiko knows he worked hard to get into UA, but she feels like he's drifting away from her. As if sensing her thoughts, Aizuku leaps up and yells. Group hug. Before carrying Himiko across the room, Aiko still had no idea how he does that, and wrapping his arm around his mother. Himiko joins in, happy to be part of the hug as Aiko hugs them both back. FCK Endeavor, good job, kid. Nobody, thank you. Righteous Fury, you'll be a good hero. Don't let that school drill any fake hero propaganda into you. Nobody, you got it. Stay safe. Aizuku stares up at his new school, his reality settling in. I'm going to UA, and I'm going to prove I can be a hero, quirkless or not. Throwing a smile and wave over his shoulder at his bodyguards, who silently waved back, eyes pricking with proud tears Aizuku's emotional crying habits have started affecting them. He walked into the gates, his chest light. Our sunshine got into UA. The bodyguard silently fist bumped, happy that they had helped their favorite YouTuber get into his dream school. Welcome to UA. I am Snipe, your homeroom teacher. Hello Snipe Sensei, the class course, making the man jump a little. Comma, right. Please take out your phones and download the UA app. Once you enter your student ID, you'll find it useful. The students complied, and Aizuku realized that it had a mapping function. You'll see a map icon in your bottom right corner. I expect no tardies without a very good reason. Understand. The class nods collectively, and Aizuku notices that there's even a reminder for homework due for each subject. As expected of a top hero school. Now, follow me out of the class in an orderly fashion. I'll be showing you the most important parts of the school and introducing you to other staff before orientation. Please keep the volume to a minimum, there may be other classes in session. Aizuku ended up near the back, soaking in every detail of the campus. He was so distracted that he bumped into another student's back, a boy with purple hair and dark eye bags. S sorry. The boy just stares at him blankly for a minute, then sighs tiredly. It's okay. Curious about his new classmate, Aizuku leans in a little closer, ignoring the growing gap between them and their classmates. I'm Aizuku Mitaruhaya. What's your name? He stares at the white-haired boy, somewhat suspicious of the sudden interest placed on him. Kama, I'm Hitoshi Shinsao. Aizuku nods, filing the new name away carefully. So, Shinsao, what hair gel do you use? He asks, intrigued by his classmate's gravity-defying hair. Is it a side effect of his quirk? Shinsao blinks, surprised by the strange question. I don't use hair gel. Seriously? How does your hair do that then? Um, I don't know. The boys set off down the hall, Aizuku peppering his new classmate with questions. He avoids talking about quirks, though. I'm not telling anyone here I'm quirkless until the sports festival. He doesn't need to deal with nasty comments while enjoying his dream school. Suddenly, Aizuku stops, pulling Shinsao to a stop with him. 
Shin Sao gives him a weird look, only to jump a mile in the air when the door in front of them is blown into the opposite wall, making the windows shutter and bend to accommodate the heavy object before it crashes to the floor with a thud. IT was supposed to do that, a young, female voice screams as gray smoke pours out of the door. Emi I had assumed. Dismantle that machine this instant. A loud whine comes from inside the door, and Aizuku spots a flash of pink hair and brassy, steampunk goggles that catch the light coming from the windows. I'm not murdering my babies. Both boys are frozen in place, one part the shock of a near-death experience, the other confusion at the weird conversation. They turn to the other, confirming they heard everything correctly with exaggerated facial expressions. Upon confirmation, they simultaneously decide to pretend this didn't happen, and speed walk through the thin and gray smoke to catch up with their class. Shinsao, Aizuku spots his classmate sitting alone and rushes over, relieved to see a familiar face in the sea of cafeteria tables. The purple-haired boy seems surprised that Aizuku found him again, but doesn't protest when Aizuku plops into the seat across from him. Midoriya. He's surprised by the amount of food on the white-haired boy's plate, but his jaw almost drops when Aizuku practically inhales it. Geez, where does all of that go? Well, Aizuku pauses when he sees a boy with red and white hair past them. Is that Shadow Tadaroki? You watch nobody too, huh? I wouldn't be surprised if he was right about the Todoroki family Shinsao trails off, watching the boys receding back. He watches my channel. Aizuku almost combusts from embarrassment. His classmate actually watches his YouTube videos. Why yeah? I think, well, I don't want to assume, but, Endeavor is really violent, he concludes, pushing a piece of rice around his plate awkwardly, still embarrassed that his new classmate actually watches his channel. Do you have a favorite video from their channel? Mine's Quirks vs Today's Society. I really like that he talked about quirk discrimination and Deku. A very familiar scream came from across the cafeteria, making Aizuku flinch. He can practically feel the rage pouring off his former friend's body as he turns to watch Katsuki stomp up to them. Well, he's been my bully longer than my friend, so maybe I should stop thinking of him that way. Okay, Aizuku stops himself, remembering how much Katsuki hated the nickname he gave him. Back you now. Please stop screaming, you're disturbing others' lunch. The blonde boy screeches to a halt, staring at the green-eyed boy with slightly widened eyes. Aizuku can feel the eyes on them and the familiar darkness swirls in his chest. Why does he always get in the way of me making friends? The hell did you just call Emmy? Die. Bakugou screams, followed by a series of small explosions aimed near the white-haired boy's head. Aizuku barely moves, the dark feeling clawing its way up his throat when he notices Shinsao flinch back out of the corner of his eye. Is that what I looks like? The temperature drops a few degrees as Aizuku stares at Bakugou. Sensing something was wrong, Bakugou scowls at the white-haired boy, his annoyance growing at the useless expression on that loser's face. I said, I heard what you said. Bakugou is your name, isn't it? Now please leave, your screaming is disruptive. Bakugou stills, choking on his next words as he stares into those green eyes. They were glowing with something, something wrong. That's not how Deku reacts. Deku flinches back. What is wrong with him? Eyes narrowing, Bakugou takes a step forwards, only to stop when Aizuku's glare sharpens into something, feral. Now that you're in a hero school, you're expected to conduct yourself as a hero would. Why don't you drop your bad habits from middle school? I'm sure the teachers wouldn't be happy to hear your record isn't as clean as it looks, Aizuku smiles, no, bears his teeth, making Bakugou flinch slightly. You wouldn't. I would. Now back off. Bakugou hesitates for a minute. Then he whirls away, an enraged sneer on his face as he stomps away from their table. Stupid Deku. When did he start acting like that, anyways? Shinsao stares at the boy in front of him, taken aback by how angry he looks. And just like that, a smile spreads over Aizuku's face, and all traces of anger disappear like they were never there. Sorry about him. He's a walking ball of issues, and tends to take it out on others. Try to avoid him if you can, Aizuku suggests, adjusting his blazer sleeves. I can't believe I just stood up to K-Bak Yugao. Shin Sao nods, curious about the odd confrontation. He sounds like he's speaking from experience. The purple-haired boy decides not to pry. Aizuku seems nice enough, and hasn't asked about his quirk yet, so Shin Sao is fine with maintaining a friendly relationship with him. There's a crowd of reporters blocking the front gates. Somewhat annoyed, Aizuku watches them crowd the front gates screaming incoherently about all might. When a head of purple hair appears beside him, he jumps, surprised to see the boy from yesterday. Shinsao. Good morning, Aizuku says, smiling brightly at the tired-looking boy. Shinsao nods in return, squinting at the bright light. In a couple of bushes further down the street, Aizuku's bodyguards light up, noticing that their favorite kid made a friend. Sunshine must have charmed him with his smile, one whispered excitedly. No one can resist his smile, the other agrees. Do you know why they're here? Aizuku asks gesturing towards the horde of reporters. Shinsao looks over at him with raised eyebrows, holding back a yawn as he responds. You didn't know? All Might is teaching at UA this year. They're probably here for him. The white-haired boy stiffens. All Might, here? Shinsao notices the conflicting emotions flashing through his classmate's eyes, but decides not to comment. It's fine, he's probably teaching the hero course, so I won't have to see him, 
for a while. Aizuku sighs, rubbing his temples. This is troublesome, but he's here, and being taught by All Might would be a good learning experience, no matter how much Aizuku dislikes the quirkus bastard. It's fine. Pushing thoughts of All Might to the side, Aizuku checks the time. We are going to be late. He shrieks in horror, his voice cracking hilariously and almost sending Shinsa into a fit of laughter. I'm sure it's fine. Sensei said not to be late, he interrupts, his nerves skyrocketing. It's not like we can get through them, Midoriya. We'll just get trampled and overwhelmed, Shinsa reasons, giving the nervous boy a deadpan look. The gears in Aizuku's mind turn, and a smile stretches across his face. How do you feel about being carried? Kama, um, it's okay. I'm not a huge fan, but... Shinsa is interrupted again by Aizuku throwing him over his shoulder and sprinting forwards. What are you doing? Shinsa shrieks, desperately grabbing Aizuku's backpack to steady himself. Hold on. Aizuku yells back, a huge grin on his face. His classmate screeches like all the demons in hell are chasing them as Aizuku leaps upwards, grabbing a small handhold in the middle of the high wall and scaling it with ease. Once they're at the top, Aizuku drops into a nearby tree, using a branch to swing them neatly on the ground. We did it, Aizuku cheers, grinning as he sets his pale classmate down. Shinso just stares at the boy, hands shaking from adrenaline and fear. You crazy bastard. All that so we wouldn't be late, he grabs Aizuku's shoulders and shakes him violently. What if the lasers zapped us? Shinsa asks, borderline hysterical. There are lasers, Aizuku's eyes widen, his grim fading. Yes, comma, oops, Aizuku offers weakly, smile lopsided. Shinsa stares at him in pure disbelief for a minute before deciding that Midoriya is one of the craziest people he's ever met. You know what? You got us past the reporters. Let's just go to class, he sighs, running a hand through his fluffy purple hair. Aizuku nods, following the shaken boy diligently. Shigaraki stares at the wall incredulously, still processing what he saw. That kid seriously just climbed UA's 30-foot wall like it was nothing. He's so cool. As expected of sunshine. Two voices come from near his hiding spot. Are they talking about that kid? I've got to get to work. Do you know when the afternoon shift is getting here? Ah, I think a little before school lets out. It's Sato's turn this time. Afternoon shift. This school is a lot more secure than his last one. He never allowed us on school grounds anyway. Besides, it's his dream school. Let the kid live. Are they stalking that kid? No, they seem to be familiar with the kid and even made rules and boundaries. Are they some type of bodyguards? Sorry, I can't help worrying. You know how he's planning on getting in the hero course through the sports festival. Duh. Why else do you think he'd slow down his uploading schedule? He's a good kid, and I'm just worried the heroes will find out about him. What if he gets arrested? Why would some random ass kid get arrested? Nah, he's not breaking any laws, just stating the obvious. Anyways, I gotta go. You coming? Stating the obvious? Yeah? Thanks for letting me vent, man. No problem. After all the time we've spent together, I'm surprised you haven't said anything sooner. You know how it is. The voices disappear, leaving a very confused man-child in their wake. Who is that kid? Notes. Aizuku, meets Shinso. Shinso. Aizuku, we are friends now. Shinso, confused introvert noises.